A team that's lost 10 in a row is a $1.30 favorite on the money line. Must be Paul Skeen's day in Pittsburgh. I've got a take for you on that game coming up in just a little bit. But Mark Zinno is going to lead us off. Mark, we had three first five plays on the show yesterday. Uh, I thought we had bad luck with the double play. By the way, Mark is in Vegas today. That is what what is up with the different background. Uh, We had three first five plays yesterday. Very good move by you changing midstream to Texas in the first five instead of full game because we ended up with a push instead of a loss, as you so astutely put it. The Rangers' bullpen stinks, and they blew that game for them. But our, our double play was criminal. I should have taken the A's plus half a run in the first six innings because after falling behind big, they came back to take the lead and then, of course, won the game. And then the Dodgers, who you liked, were even. You laid the half run uh, in the first five. Uh, they were even with the Brew Crew before their bullpen blew it. So that was yesterday. This is today. Friday has been a kind day to us in the past, the last three weeks. We are 8-1 and one on Fridays, the last three weeks on the morning wager. Talk about a game you're not overthinking, Padres-Rockies. Yeah, I mean, look, the Padres are one of the hottest teams in baseball right now. Uh, And strangely enough, they actually have a losing record against Colorado this season. So uh, maybe a little revenge here uh, on the minds of the San Diego Padres. But what really sold me on this was Matt Waldron, uh, who is the Padres starter. He's faced the Rockies twice this year, including once in Coors Field. Uh, In two starts, he's 2-0, 11 and two-thirds innings pitch, just six hits, two runs, 12 Ks. And opposing hitters are batting just 150 against him to the tune of a 1.54 ERA. So they got exactly the starter that they want on the mound. And, you know, a lot of these matchups between these two teams, BP, were earlier in the year. And the Padres Mm -hmm. clearly were a different team earlier in the year than they are right now. Uh, One of the hottest teams in all baseball. And it's strange. Again, other than the series last week, these two teams hadn't played since May. So, uh, and we saw the Padres take two or three Last series, I think they're primed for two or three, if not a sweep again here. We know the Padres score a lot more on the road than they do at home. Um, and Colorado, last time I checked, still a very friendly hitters ballpark. Uh, we look at an, <laughs> a, a a Rockies team that's lost four of their last five, including getting swept by Arizona. I know there's variance involved whenever you get in Coors Field and things could get wonky here, but I think we got the right starter on the mound. And if the Padres get an early lead, Feels like the the Rockies would embrace the BP philosophy of uh, why don't you just quit, uh, and I think that's what happens here. So, um, despite the fact that we're laying a little bit heavier number than we wanted around minus one sixty five, willing to back the Padres here for a smaller percentage play, uh, just because I like the starting bat, p- starting pitching matchup. So, give me the Padres on the money line. Smash that like button if you agree with the Padres here on Friday. Also, comment down below. If you think the Padres are live to win the National League, I've said it in the past, and I believe it, man. The National League is wide open. We've got a best bet coming up on one of the other NL contenders here at the end of the show. But first, let me do my half of the double play. Mark Zinno does not agree with this bet for the record. It wouldn't be be the show if I didn't cut you off when when you wanted to say something important. But I just wanted to tell you and everybody else. uh, I did put a shekel down on the Padres to not only win the National League, but win the World Series. So I quite... Quite favorable odds, 10 to 1 and 20 to 1, respectively, for the pennant and the uh, World Series. Okay. I like it. I absolutely like it. I'm rolling with you there. Padres, man, they are hot. After they bankrupted us last year, Mark, down the stretch, they owe us They owe us a few shekels. Is that the gold standard or is that American currency? We'll have to converse about that after the show. All right. Let me get to my half of the double play. Like I said, Mark does not agree with this, but that's why it's my half of the double play. I'm going to talk about Seattle and Pittsburgh here, okay? Tease it at the opening of the show. The Pirates have lost 10 straight. That's not good. Uh, But they are a favorite today, and they are favored for one reason and one reason only. Paul Skeens is starting. (sighs) Look, Skeens has been great. There's no doubt about it, but he's slowing down. We talked about this on Saturday, you and I. We don't do a a morning wager on Saturday, but you and I just, we talk every day. And I mentioned to you that I wanted to fade Skeens against the Dodgers. He had his worst start of the year. He gave up four runs. He's slowing down. He's now pitched 90 plus innings in the last three months. I've had a conversation with Joe Ranieri. Now, Joe's not producing today. He would never admit to ever having a conversation with me. That's why I'm letting you know this now. That I think the Pirates secretly... The front office just wants to fall out of contention so they can shut Skeens down. That's my belief. I think they don't want to risk him. This team's going nowhere. So they may have a quick hook. 
All right, Pittsburgh today. Seattle, let's look at their starters. Logan Gilbert, he is one of the few in Major League Baseball that can claim to have a better whip than Paul Skeens. As a matter of fact, do you know how many pitchers have a better whip this year than Logan Gilbert, Mark? Uh, the answer is zero. He has the number one whip in all of baseball. He's allowed more than three runs just five times. Be, and he's failed to reach the cool? sixth inning just twice. Would that be cool? What's that? Cool whip? Cool, it, what? Cool. Cool whip? No, that it, it could be woo whip. It could be woo whip if it was Brian Wu. But anyway, Logan Gilbert is the better starting pitcher in this matchup, and I know it has been heartbreak hotel for the Seattle Mariners with that bullpen the last two days. My but God. you know whose bullpen is worse than the Seattle Mariners? The Pittsburgh Pirates. David Bender. I had a conversation with our good buddy Aaron Kidd earlier today. He said David Bender couldn't close a door uh, if his life depended on it. So that's enough for me. Plus. I know the Mariners' offense is bad. Guess whose offense is worse? Pittsburgh's 28 to WRC this season against righties. Guys, we're getting a great price on the better team just because Skeens is the pitcher for the Pirates. Who would want to lay this price with a team that's lost 10 in a row and has embraced the BP philosophy of quitting? I'm on Seattle, full game as a money line underdog here. Logan Gilbert due for a win as well. Smash that like button if you agree with me on Seattle. Smash that like button if you agree with Mark on San Diego. Comment down below what you think of the plays. Let us know your favorite plays for Friday. Our best bet is coming up in just a little bit. But I uh, want to let you know, okay, and the easiest way uh, to be notified of this is subscribing to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. But I have a special edition of the Power Five currently out, Mark. Uh, talked about this yesterday. You said you were not going to listen, but you would keep it on your computer uh, so I could get uh, you know, bonus points in the algorithm. Yeah. That is so kind of you. Yeah. Power Five edition of, or Premier League, special Premier League edition of the Power Five. Pardon me. I go through my favorite bets for the season, give out a free pick for match week one. Must watch here on Wager Talk TV. What do you got cooking on your page here for Friday, Mark? Well, since we are in Las Vegas, uh, we're going to swing big. We'll come up with three plays for tonight uh, on my page. You know, um, folks, it has been an incredible month. Number one in winning percentage and ROI in Major League Baseball at Wager Talk. And um, I would be even higher, number one, had I not bet Orioles games the last three days. Because three of the six losses I have this entire month all came in the last three days on betting on the Orioles games uh, in some size, way, shape, or form. So we're, we're, I promise you, the Orioles will not be part of my package today. Uh, I went down with that ship, and I am officially Captain Ahab, and it is done. But nonetheless, let's focus on the good stuff. Number one winning percentage, number one ROI in Major League Baseball this month, wt.buzz slash mz. We'll have three plays up there, plus a free play on my page as well. Let's continue the winning guys. Go cash some tickets with me, wt.buzz slash mz. All right, let's get into that show best bet. In honor of Dan Alexander being so kind, the great Dan Alexander being so kind to produce us today, I have, I, I never get which way to turn on this, by the way. I'm not a professional like you. I'm wearing my Phillies apparel today, and they are our best bet. They are facing Patrick Corbin, who uh, I think most people are aware of this. Marky Stinks, worst starting pitcher in baseball over the last five years. And the question is, we talked about some of our first five folly yesterday on the program so we kind of had a decision to make here. Is it more likely that the Phillies, because I and you can do your BP voice, okay, after I kick it to you, but they're likely yes. only to come up to bat eight times in this game, okay? They are a massive favorite with Nola on the bottom. Crazy, the Phillies have lost the last five times Nola has started, by the way. That's very interesting. But look, the Phillies are massive favorites for a reason today. So they're only probably coming up to bat in eight innings. Are they more likely to score four runs in five innings or six runs in eight innings? That is the decision we have to make. Why don't you let the people know what decision we did make on this one with the Phillies team total? Well, after must consternation, because again, Brian Power doesn't like to take team totals um, with the home team. Because they might not get that last at bat. They're only going to get eight at bats when they get, you know, uh, and we have, we have don't decided, talk like that. I understand. <laughs> we have decided, Tucker Carlson, that, uh, <laughs> that because the Phillies are likely going to be leading in this game against the Nationals, they won't get that ninth at bat. Um, but look, when you talk about kind of where your value is and, and how you want to price this and how you want to play it, you're still going to be paying heavy juice to go over five and a half for the full game, given it's the Nationals and it's Patrick Corbin. You're better off chasing a little plus money here in the first five innings going over three and a half. It's just a better value proposition because, look, I mean, it, if they go over three and a half in the first five, there's a really good chance they're going over 
uh, the five and a half for the game. But if they don't go over the three and a half in the first five innings, well, then you're going to be sweating out a full eight innings uh, that they might not get it done for one reason or another. But the bottom line here about the Phillies, they have the, scored the most runs against lefties at home this year. They've hit the most home runs against lefties at home this year. They're top five in batting average OPS and WRC plus against lefties at home. Uh, it's Patrick Corbin. We know he's going to get banged around. They'll leave him in there for five or six innings easily because the Nats bullpen got worked yesterday. So they'll have plenty of opportunities to get to Patrick Corbin. So we'll chase a little plus money here over three and a half in the first five Phillies team total. Smash that like button if you are in agreement. Why would you not be in agreement with that play? I thought that was sound. So tell people Mr. believe Zeno. that you do. You shouldn't take a team total with a home team that won't get a full nine at bats. Don't talk like that. Going to say that again for the record. Tell me, let me know down in the comment section if you do think I sound like that. If I do, I may over the weekend change my voice. By the way, speaking of the weekend, I have a couple things to share, Mark. Guess what tomorrow is? I'm sure the people can't and Don't wait. say Saturday. No. Don't say Saturday. No. Uh, it's my tomorrow birthday might be the, tomorrow. It's, uh, it it's is? <laughs> yes, it is my birthday. I will be turning no 45 years old you? tomorrow. We, we yes. Forever. I don't want to know when your birthday is. Well, remember last year I was in Vegas for my birthday. What a That's what a remember I was remember I, remember I was allowed, I was allowed I to pick the evening activity. I was allowed to pick the evening activity that night. I, we won't go into that. This is a family program exactly. after all. Uh, but uh, something else that people may care about more that they can actually uh, bet on uh, this weekend because uh, they don't care about my birthday on Sunday. Shota Imanaga is starting again. You and I a couple months ago came up with this great idea about, oh, man, when teams get to see Imanaga for the second time, I think we're going to look to fade him. <laughs> Inexplicably, the Cubs must be doing this on purpose. Imanaga's making his 23rd start of the season on Sunday. It's his 21st different opponent. This guy's going to face every team in Major League Baseball his rookie year. I, it's crazy to me. Uh, we, yeah. faded, we faded him the first time it happened against the Mets. He got annihilated yeah. that time. Then we did it again. Uh, when he faced the Cardinals, he didn't pitch well that day. The Cubs uh, bailed him out, though, in the bottom of the ninth against the Cards bullpen. But still, it is crazy. This guy, I, they, they don't play every team, right? The, that, the, ske the schedule isn't that imbalanced, so I don't know. Maybe in September. Wake me up when September ends, like Green Day sang uh, many years ago. Anyway, if you haven't already liked or commented, please do so now. If you haven't subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. There is a ton of great content on this channel each and every day. I already mentioned the special Premier League edition of the Power Five. Check that out. I have not only a 4% Premier League best bet on tap for Friday, but one play in Major League Baseball. It was a nice 4% winner yesterday on the Giants. No sweat, 6 nothing over the Braves as they avoided what would have been a four-game sweep at home so wt.buzz slash bp is of course where to get my plays is there anything else you would like to say to the fine people mark before we wish them all a very happy weekend wish me well here uh i think i'll see joe ranieri at some point in time so um there will Tell be him I, said a, hi. I i will i, I will t and i will use your voice hey joe brian says hello <laughs> uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have don't tell me what he says time. back <laughs> I, I won't. I promise. He, he's not going to say anything nice that much, I know. But uh, between Joe, Kelly, and Megan, we're out here as well. So we'll, we'll have a little wager talk fun this weekend. Get signed up for the contests. Uh, and if you guys are interested in doing so, obviously, you know, there's still time left before the season gets started. So uh, make your way out here. Get signed up for the football contest. And uh, we'll get you taken care of all season long here at Wager Talk TV. All right. That does it. Until next time, let's cash some tickets. No jingle. Maybe we'll add a jingle. I don't know. Oh. I'll just dance anyway. We'll dance anyway. I'll just we'll dance. Anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just dance. I think people like to dance. So, you know, you just as much as the jingle. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Good. We'll. Uh, yeah. I wasn't I told to where the jingle it. was. This is on Joe. I was. I was yeah. told of no jingle. <laughs> we're, we're being oh. told the jingle is missing in action. That's okay. That's okay. Everybody have a great weekend. Until next time. Damn. Oh. Okay. Damn it, Joe. The, 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 real, the real thing here is, how do you miss Patty Johnson? Uh, well, stop it. Stop it. She's a nice girl, and she said nice things about you. <laughs>